She calls me and says, I'm coming. <laughs> and I go get her, regardless what I'm doing. She might be busy and have to say, uh, hang on, and run over her in. And the customer's like kind of stunned at first. <laughs> and then you see a cute little grandma coming, and they're like, oh, it's, you know. For 15 years, I got to work with her every day, yeah. you know. And she, I never swore until she, she taught me how to uh -oh, swear. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people get that experience to, yeah. to be able to work with their grandma. Grandma's the queen here. She's the matriarch. Mm -hmm. She comes over, she'll do ribbon, she will... She'll move my stuff around. <laughs> she don't like it there, it's moved. Straighten and... ribbons, because it's not perfect. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Grandma's kind of always been referred to as the matriarch. Yeah. I mean, granted she is, but... She's like the grand poopa, you know, everybody loves her. Uh, everybody does. Uh, you can't not like grandma. Well, I was barely 18. I married the oldest boy. Oh, it was kind of, kind of, uh, what do you call it? Kind that? of arranged. Yeah, yeah. I was here working in the greenhouse. We didn't have a shop as such. Yeah. Mostly wholesale more yeah. than retail, plants and thing. But then we grew carnations and snapdragon and chrysanthemums. It was a rumor saying that you're going to have to move. We went to Eden, Idaho, Minidoka. The whole family was there. My husband and my son, we were in one side. And okay. my mother-in-law and father-in-law, two sisters, and two brothers were in the other side. Just, you know, one room. We had a door between us. Everybody worked and they got paid. Like, like I, done, I washed the dishes morning, noon, and night and got paid uh, $16 a month. And then I gave half to my mother-in-law for taking care of my son. So I got $8 a month. There were sentries with guns, you know, so you had to behave. But we wouldn't do anything anyway. They thought we were run away, I guess. I don't know where we'd run to. My uh, brother-in-law was one of the first ones to leave for the army. He got drafted and he went. That was natural thing to do was to go, you know, fight when they call you. We were, you know, American citizens, but some of us say, what are we fighting for, you know, when we're in the camp? My son was three months old when we were in camp, and we come home when he was three. My mother-in-law died there. She had operation and she never came home. She was only 52. Young, no. It was hard time, you know, when we come home. 
so many people lost everything. They, they had fire sales on businesses, on cars, on possessions, everything in their homes. According to my grandma, they had to basically rebuild. At first, uh, it was hard. You know, they didn't want to buy it from Japanese. My grandfather had to hire Caucasians to sell his products. People wouldn't buy from him because he was a Jap. What happened to them was horrible. And she knows it was horrible. But I, and I've actually asked her, are you mad? And she said, no, she's not mad. It's what it was and they can't change it. We had a fire in our boiler house and our greenhouse was, you know, a lot of it was burned. The furnace backfired. Our neighbors saw the fire and called a fire station. That's when we built the flower shop. It was a fun place to go. You know, when you're a kid, you know, riding your bike around. I, you know, I can remember riding my bike up here and then riding around the neighborhood trying to remember addresses so I could go deliver flowers, you know. I would um, go with the delivery drivers and shag. They call it shagging. So the drivers would drive to the address. <laughs> I would have to get the flowers and deliver them to the door because um, I wasn't old enough to drive. So I did that for a long time. Vacations were spent, you know, at the flower shop. It's just what we did. We, I was just always here. We were always here. Yeah, it's just, yeah, but vacation at Sunny Kern Park Floral. It was just, <laughs> <laughs> so we did that for years. I mean, years. My husband died in 89. We were married almost 50 years when he died. 50 years? Yeah, just a few months before 50 years. He had a heart attack at the shop. That afternoon, he was sitting there, and then he just fell off the counter dead. My sister-in-law called me and says, the sick just fell, and when he fell, he was dead, you know. Dad hadn't had a, you know, a vacation for quite a while since Grandpa died, so. My dad was here seven days a week. Um, back then. I told him, why don't you go on vacation and, you know, I'll stay, you know, and then I'll go find another job. And he seemed to go on about a 15-year vacation, 12-year <laughs> vacation. <laughs> and then I pretty much ran it. I mean, Dad would come, but, you know, and family business is, is it's just an interesting dynamic. It's right. just, you know, I can remember him hollering at his dad, you know, them getting in fights over whatever, you know. And boy, I tell you what, it, that part does run in the family because <laughs> my dad and I just would butt heads. It was just, you know, it's just new generations and new thoughts. You know, I, I don't think initially, girl, you know, as the kids were growing up that I wanted them here yeah. for no other reason than you want your kids to go off and be doctors and lawyers. But as things progressed, it really wasn't the case, and doctors and lawyers wasn't where they wanted to be. When I was four years old, I asked Grandpa, when you pass away, can I have the flower shop? I don't remember it. <laughs> she, she was four or five. So she has always wanted to do this. I think it's cool that she gets to wake up in the morning and do something she loves to do. Whether it gets beyond Kimberly, you know, uh, you know, that's kind of, it is what it is, but, but, you know, for the time being, I think it's a, it's a neat legacy. She yeah. does a good work, yeah, and people like it, and then she puts it on the internet, and like, my sister calls me from Salt Lake saying she saw it, and, you know, yeah. she thinks it's pretty neat, so. 
We do get feedback from our customers that it's awesome to have a shop in the community that's here and comfortable and nice and I wouldn't want to move out of this community. It's been a great place to be and it's home. Mm -hmm. Grandpa's dad, grandpa, dad, me, yeah, Kimberly, Holly, Kimberly's fifth. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I never thought about it. <laughs> I just feel it just feel like natural, I guess, family, you know. It just is what it is, yeah. huh? <laughs> it's just what we do.